This is Sal here again, and I'm still here with my good friend Dr. Mahadevan from Stanford University. And uh, in the last video, we we had looked at adequacy of X-rays, which is for for the neck, which is you know is the X-ray good enough? But now let's assume we have good X-rays. Now, do we, what do we look at? Uh, the next step is to look at the alignment. So uh, we, we talk about the ABCs, the ABCs of reading a cervical spine film, and A starts with adequacy that we went over. Oh, yes, and we the did second the a part of A adequacy. is alignment. Okay, so we're still in A. So now it's alignment. Okay, I was expecting something with a B. All right, alignment, alignment. All right. So this looks like this. This is about alignment. This is about alignment, and, and there's four lines that we look at. Uh, the first is the anterior vertebral body line. Okay, AVBL right over there. Exactly, and, and basically what you're doing is you're trying to draw a smooth line that connects the anterior aspect, the front of all of the vertebral bodies, and it should be nice and smooth. It's usually curved, and it, all the points should sort of fit on that line. Nothing should be off of that line. That would suggest that there was a problem there. I see, and anterior, as you just said, means front. Exactly. Right, right, okay. The next line is going to the back of the vertebral body is the posterior vertebral body. Okay, line. so not the back of the entire vertebrae, the, the vertebral body, which is this boxy part right in front. Exactly. Okay, and so, so you go the back same of this thing, thing, connecting a line up and down, should be nice and smooth as you've dr drawn it, and nothing should fall off that line. Though. No piece of that vertebral body should fall off of the line you've drawn. All right, sounds good. And then? The next is we connect all the spinolaminar junctions. So this okay. is the spinolaminar line. Okay. And it's where the sort of the, the the lamina connects to the spinous process. Spinous process. It sounds like we can make a whole video about that. <laughs> spinous <laughs> process, if you look at the back of somebody's necks, are those little bumps that you can oh, see. Oh, okay. Uh, and that's so, the so, very so back. So that's these end. triangular things right here. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so you, that you're just connecting that line, the kind of the front of these triangles, the base of these triangles, so to speak. Exactly. Okay, and then the last one. And the last line is the spinous process tips, and again, we're just connecting the the top, the tip of all these spinous processes, the little the little bony projections you can see if you look at the back of somebody's neck. Right. Right. And these two should generally fall on a nice smooth curve. Right. And so the general rule of any of these don't aren't aligned the way that we've drawn it here, it's, it's, it's a problem. Exactly, exactly. We call it subluxation or malalignment or misalignment. Okay. And uh, these are all uh, suggest that there is a problem there. Which is a big deal because your spinal cord is going through there. Absolutely. <laughs> if you look between the two, the green and the blue line, that's actually where your, your actual spinal cord okay. runs. Right, right, right down there. Exactly. Right down there. I see, I see. So yeah, you don't want that to get messed up. All right, so let's let's look at a, a few of these X-rays and see if we can, if, if any, one anything's wrong or, or or if there is something wrong, if we can spot it. So Actually, let's... Sal, now that you know how to read cervical spine <laughs> yes. X-rays, I'm going to have you look at the first X-ray. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I'm going to get sued for malpractice. Let's see. All right, so this one over here. So let me just do the first one. Let me let me just go what what you told me to do. So I'm going to do it the the anterior side of this vertebral body. Exactly. Look, I'm learning the words too. <laughs> Talking like a doctor. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yep. And that looks decent. That was. I'm. I'm kind of. Let me see. This is still looks decent, and I don't know that that doesn't look great. Uh, does does would this count? I mean, this looks like a. It got shifted over a little bit. I mean, Absolutely. It's not like a huge. It's not a huge shifting, but it's enough to. That it's it's not easy to draw. So so th I was right. You're absolutely oh, right. And, 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 <laughs> and in fact, sometimes it's very <laughs> subtle. And you picked up a very subtle abnormality. But again, even though it's subtle on the X-ray, it could be serious for the patient. So wow. you uh, you potentially save their spinal cord and and their lives by oh, picking oh, up an injury like this. Okay, good. Making me feel all oh, right. Very good. Okay, so so that's just it's literally something as subtle as that is what you're looking for. Exactly, again, it should be a nice smooth line or a nice smooth curve. And, and as you can see at that junction, it's no longer right. smooth. That and you don't even have to look at the other lines. You just, any one of these that you don't align, that's enough to say, hey, do something else. Exactly, and that's a great important teaching point, which is if you see any abnormality on a plane film, right. on an x-ray like this, it, you stop and you protect their cervical spine and then you get a, a more important study or, or a better quality right. study like a, a CT scan. Fascinating. Although if I do look here, it does look like we could have done the, the, the PVBL and it looks like that also is is a little off too. Absolutely. That one and okay. Well, let's look at let's look at a few more. Great. I don't want to I don't want to focus too much on my first victory. <laughs> All right. So this is so it's clear that this person is facing this way. I can see their teeth. All right. So let's see let's see what we can do here. 
Uh, okay, can I give it a shot again? Please, okay. please. Okay, so let's... Um, the AVBL, it looks pretty good. I mean, this, this is... Uh, well... That looks close. It I'll, looks close. I agree, uh, and, and and it it potentially again. You've got a you've got a very keen eye, and yes. you might have picked it up. But most people might a gift have, a gift. You might say. <laughs> <laughs> might have overlooked that. Right. Oh, so let's try let's try other the other the other lines here. So this is the this is okay. So this one is more obvious. This one is more obvious that it, there's kind of that disconnection right over there. Exactly, and this is the PVBL or the right. posterior vertebral body line. You can see clearly that line is not smooth. It doesn't connect, and so there is a problem right there at that junction. Okay, okay. All right, and so then we have this, this, this last one right over here. Let me see what I can do. Let me see. I don't want to lose my streak. <laughs> All right, so anterior side. This actually looks pretty perfect, actually. And in fact, smooth. it is perfect. Okay, um, let me let me try the next lines here. This is the posterior vertebral a, body let line. Me, let me do that in a color that's easier to see. So let me do that. In, I already used orange. I'll do magenta. All right. So this looks looking okay. It looks okay. It looks okay. I mean, it, uh, yeah. I mean, nothing obvious on that line. I would say again, you've got the keen eye, but in yeah. this particular case, I'd say it's fine. It yeah. looks it's within yeah. the normal range, as we okay. say. Okay, and so let me do the 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 base of those triangles. Let me do uh, so. This is a triangle right over here. So that and again, you want it to be a nice smooth curve. Everything should, should fall on that curve. So this, it would be. I would have to be a little bit generous with my curve to make it go to these guys down here. Exactly. That, exactly. That seems and this is the spinal laminar line. Uh, this is the third line of alignment. As you can see, to try to get those to work, you could, but they're not smooth like the they're other not, lines. Yeah. And this is, again, another subtle finding, but missing this finding because the first two lines are normal could, right. again, be devastating for the patient. Right, right. And so you, you always want to err on the side of caution. I mean, if anything looks at even a little bit suspicious, maybe another x-ray or... Yeah, right. another x-ray, another view like we talked about before, or the definitive study is a CT scanner, computed tomography. I see, I see. Very cool. Well, well thanks for this. This is useful. My pleasure.